So we have a problem and I'm kind of freaking out. We can't find the cat. So we've looked everywhere in this fifth wheel. We looked underneath the reclining chairs. We looked behind the couches. We looked under the bed. We've looked outside. Last time this happened, we heard this meowing in the distance and we thought he got into one of the cabinets and we called him and called him and we heard this sad meowing. And finally we opened up the drawer to the trash can and he was behind it. So somehow when we pulled out the trash can drawer, he must have darted in behind it and then we closed it. And I don't know how long he was even in there, but this time we cannot find him. He's done this like three times. And I swear, when I got the fifth wheel, I made sure that there were no nooks and crannies that he could get into and get lost in. So I'm totally at a loss. When he disappears, we think we hear something, like in the walls. So we're afraid that he got into a wall and we don't know how. My boyfriend Doug is here with me this weekend and we can't find him. I mean, we have spent like half a day just calling big boy, big boy, we don't know where he is. And I'm really starting to get nervous because if he can get into a wall, can he get out? I'm worried that he can get out, like out, out. Doug is out there trying to see if there's anything underneath the rig that he might be able to get in and out of and calling him outside. Hi. Hi. Uh, any luck? Uh, no. Look everywhere. Uh, I don't Excuse see me. any place in here either that he... I mean, I look, we look everywhere. Okay. Let's keep looking. I guess, yeah. Hopefully he gets hungry and comes out. Big boy. <laughs> Do you think he was behind you? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think it's been like two more hours. And when we go into the bedroom, we hear something under the floor. It could be a mouse. But when we're calling the big boy, he's not responding. But we think he got into a wall and he's underneath the bedroom floor. Okay. I think we figured it out. There's definitely something under the bedroom floor moving around. If it is the big boy, he's not answering us. But there are two steps that go up into the bedroom because I have a fifth wheel. And under the first step, there are two shoe cubbies. So you can change your shoes when you go in and out of the fifth wheel. And I never thought to check this, but there is no back end on the cubby. We had to get down on our bellies and look with a flashlight and you can see that the shoe cubby goes along and then it goes up and there's a little two inch space that you can see goes up under the bedroom floor. So we think he's in there. He would have had to really squeeze to get in there. If that's what it is, we're going to try and coax him out. We're putting some treats in front of the steps. Big bye! Daddy. Big boy, come out. Come here, Bubba. You want a snack? Give me a snack. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Come here. You want a snack? Do you want a snack? Come here, Bubba. Oh, good boy. <laughs> what were you doing? Being a bad boy. Were you being a bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We found him. Tell the people where he was, Dad. Under the stairs. The freaking stairs, you guys. Who knew? Now we know. That is. We'll figure out how to block it. I think a barricade. Yeah. A barricade or a catacade? Uh, catacade. Yeah. Boy, you can't get in there now. You can try, but I have blocked it. He's like, I can't get in there, but I'm just going to sit by it all day long, hoping you move these shoes out of the way. 